Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's going to be all about creating a 3D model of each one of the states with a basic elevation map that I'm gonna be doing by sculpting. Yes, I know I could do it with some online tools, but I'm going to do it manual because the tools I didn't feel like had the result I was actually looking for. So we're going to do it inside a blender. And with that, let's actually get to it. Whoa! So here we are inside of Blender. Immediately, I got straight into finding an image. Once I found the image, I imported it into Blender and then just started creating an outline. Oh, <laughs> and here comes Copper. Dun, 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 dun. You made it, Cop, huh? So yeah, once I imported the image, I basically just went and traced around the United States map, and then I went inside of that and individually started doing each state. I actually was originally just doing it normally, but then I realized it would be kind of cool on a time lapse to see it as the side. So that's what this section right here is about. And I actually think it looked pretty cool. From there, that was actually like the first section of what I really wanted, was basically an outline of each state. And then I wanted to add the skin modifier so I could actually print it with this outline. I ended up taking a little bit of tweaking to actually get it to work, but once I did, I put it on the printer, and on the printer, it actually turned out pretty good. Aside from the fact that I realized I accidentally missed out on Rhode Island and Connecticut, and Massachusetts is rather big, I also realized that Michigan, I forgot a border. Aside from those little things, it was pretty good. Here I'm missing the states. Uh, right here, I'm missing the border with Wisconsin. So now that all of that was working, I just wanted to add a basic topographic map to actually try and get the elevation in. I basically just used sculpting and did some very basic sculpting to make it have the appearance of mountains in the correct spot. And if we speed it up, you can actually see it didn't turn out all that bad and it did a good job of doing the basic appearance that I was wanting. So with that, I now had all 50 states, which was great because that was really all I had set out to do. And now that I have it, I can potentially import it into other projects so that I can actually put it as indents into models and have it represent a specific state. Again, for those of you who want it, it will be on printables, both the blend file and the couple of the SDLs, particularly that one that I printed, and probably a couple states if I get those worked out as actual printable models. But with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video about me actually creating all 50 states. It was kind of fun to actually sit down and do this because again, I haven't been doing a ton of Blender besides these last few videos. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Huh, Copper? She wasn't actually supposed to come, but she came anyway. Also, take a look at this. It's actually pretty cool. And man, do I want to do this. Somewhere on that side.